my friend. My name is Jeremy Kyle. No, not the same Jeremy Kyle from your daytime television set. No, I'm quite a different one. For three main reasons. Number one, I'm actually qualified to do my job. Number two, my diplomas aren't made of Lego. They're made of cheese. Number three, my dictionary isn't just pages of the sun stuck together. No, no, quite the opposite. Anyway, I digress. I'm here today to talk to you about Parents Against PlayStation, a new and exciting way to enforce your unsubstantiated opinions upon your children. Are you sick and tired of getting nothing but grunts out of your children? Are you fed up with having endless arguments about homework? And are you bitter and vengeful that children today have it much easier and don't do enough hard work? If you can answer yes to any of these questions, then Parents Against PlayStation is the place for you. We here at PAP believe that PlayStation is the root of all of these problems. Don't you, like us, remember the good old days of your childhood? A glorious time and age of innocence. That joyous era of wholesome family entertainment. We do. It was a bit rubbish, wasn't it? We here at PAP think it's unfair that children today aren't made to play endless amounts of games in Monopoly or have to listen to hours upon hours of that entertainer Bruce Forsythe or get stuck in endless circling conversations with grandparents that don't go anywhere and have no point or meaning just in the hope that perhaps they might get a Kit Kat. PlayStation takes children on wonderful flights of fantasy into strange new and exciting worlds all from the comfort of their own home. The only flight of fantasy I ever saw as a child was that time my brother tried to outrun that policeman in a milk float. He didn't, didn't even have the keys. It just makes no sense. We never had such fun and entertainment, and it never did us any harm. It made us bitter and with a strong work ethic, the key ingredients to a glorious and greater Britain. PlayStation don't seem to realise that rubbish childhoods are key to making the tedium and drudgery of the adult working life seem less so by comparison. <clears throat> oh. Without the boredom and misery of childhoods, people will come to realise just how deeply unsatisfying adult life really is. Leave it, leave it. Do you want to be personally responsible for decimating the entire British economy? Didn't think so. Neither do they. And they're geese. And you're a human. We are single-handedly championing a campaign to government and the great British public to get the PlayStation out of the UK. He looks mighty happy. Do you know why? Because he just signed up to PAP to make a better Britain. Now, you may think, what a great idea. But how can PAP help you and your children? We can provide you a step-by-step -step guide of how to get the evil of PlayStation out of your home. With examples like these. Tell me, how much do you really love Winston? But don't just take our word for it. We're out here on the streets to find out what the great British public makes of PlayStation. PlayStation? Children shouldn't be having fun of any kind! Well, not at all! None! Just homework and stuff. That's uh, all I gotta say. Easy now. That PlayStation, it's bad. It's bad, man. And I don't mean bad like good. Erd right. Satan himself has got himself like a console because he likes a bit of Grand Theft Auto and that. And like that man's well bad, like him and Jesus, like, and they didn't even get on, you know what I'm saying? Like they're opposite, opposite. So like it can't be good, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, PlayStation. Well, it's not a well-known fact, but station is actually Latin for Satan. So really what it means is play Satan. Think on, children. Think on. Too much fun can actually cause you brain damage. I read about it in a book. God, 
I heard like if you play too much like virtual reality and stuff like your brain thinks it's real and then like when you die in the game like you die for real because your brain thinks it's real so it's like game over man game over like continue isn't an option man like that's so wrong that's just wrong man it's totally wrong you got me angry now angry stop stop it I don't want to talk no more there you have it normal people picked at random all who hate PlayStation do you want to be the only one who doesn't? And on that note, I'd like to leave you with one final thought. It is a statistically proven fact that 96.2% of children who play PlayStation will grow up and turn out to be Madonna. Do you want that for your child? I know I wouldn't want it for mine. Good night, and thanks for stopping by.